Hello and welcome to Chess Please. Today we are going to be casting for the movie Chess. Now this movie doesn't exist yet, but I'm thinking if we put a good enough case together today, then producers over in Hollywood will have to sit up and listen. Before we jump into the casting, we have to know what kind of movie we're making. So for me and the purposes of this video, what I'm picturing is kind of a broad scale, massive sci-fi-esque trilogy. So something a la Dune, where you have these like a lot of different players, a lot of bloody tactical battles, as well as some strategic nuance and political backstabbing. That's the kind of big piece blockbuster trilogy I'm picturing. Let's jump into the cast. So for the pawns, I've kind of copped out a little bit because I'm not going to cast every single pawn. I'm just going to do some ensemble casts. And for this role, I'm seeing kids that have done some stuff before but are ready to step up into something a little bit meatier and maybe grow up with the trilogy. So for that reason, I'm going with the Stranger Things kids, just class actors, and they put some really good stuff together. And some new kids on the block in the cast of the Wednesday kids. Um, so they're going to be the two sets of pawns. I think they'll do a great job. I think there's going to be some real breakout stars on both of those teams. Also, for this video, I'm not really going to get into like who's going to be playing the black pieces, who's going to be playing the white pieces. We'll sort all that out in post-production, or probably before post-production, but uh, I'm not going to cast anyone as like those roles just yet. So for the Knights, I'm looking for dynamism, I'm looking for energy, I'm looking for action, a little bit of chaos, if we can get that as well, but also a cool head in the midst of chaos. So, with that in mind, our four knights are going to be Daniel Kaluuya, mainly off of his work in Nope, as well as Get Out. Thought he was unbelievably good in those movies. And with Black Panther, he's well equipped for a bit of action as well. Next up, we have Karen Gillan. Uh, thought she was unbelievably good as Nebula. Is also just class in whatever she's in. She's in the movie. Next night we have is a bit of a curveball. I'm going to go with Barry Keown, uh, local lad, Irish actor bit of a hometown whistleblower but I think he's just about to break out uh, as a really big kind of action star with his role in the Joker and the upcoming Batman movies um, and also again just excellent in what he's in Banshees unbelievable and next up as our fourth night is going to be Alicia Vikander a unbelievable action star in the Tomb Raider movies but I really really liked her work in Ex Machina that's why she's in here I think she just has that sort of intensity that she can bring to this so that's why she's in here as our fourth knight now for our bishops i'm going for a little bit more slower political kind of advisors to the kings and queens very strategic very maybe a little bit more mature than the knights but uh, equally as impactful in maybe kind of more subtler ways so our first bishop is going to be michelle yo uh, particularly her role in actually crazy rich asians i thought she definitely had that kind of menacing controlling strategy element going on there really liked her in that and everything she's in next up is Catherine Han so this is just because I wanted Catherine Han in the movie she was going to be in there by hook or by crook but I also think she can have that kind of charismatic slick sort of political entity that uh, you know works people over in, in a kind of cool manipulative way um, also maybe a little bit of comic relief in there Catherine Han another bishop and then we have Lawrence Fishburne who Again, an absolute clinically brilliant actor. Uh, so good to watch. What I actually thought of for this was his role in Contagion, where he's this kind of measured, controlling, um, but very wholesome guy in actually Contagion. So that's why he's in there. And next is Aidan Gillen. Now, he is kind of the archetypal whisper in the king's ear as Littlefinger. He is also in one of the best Irish TV shows ever made, Love, Hate, as John Boy. And in that, again, has that kind of big picture play uh, which is what I'm going for with these bishops. So Aidan Gillen's in there. Now for the rooks, we are going for kind of powerful, warlike, almost that war room general kind of the bad guy in a lot of environmental movies, but very strong, very action oriented, uh, not to be messed with. So for our first rook, I'm going with Angela Bassett, a ferocious lady, and specifically her role in Horizon Forbidden West. If you played that game, her role is Regala, terrifying menacing powerful woman and she's a rook next up we have josh brolin and again thanos obviously has that experience of that kind of battle hungry powerful war general i actually was thinking of more of his role in dune as gurney halleck where he has this again this like fighting spirit but also with a bit of that kind of strategic nuance as well so that's josh brolin and next I have Michelle Rodriguez. So when you talk about action stars, Michelle Rodriguez kind of pigeonholed her whole career 
as that like hard talking action lady I think she's ready for something a little bit more nuanced, a little bit heavier um, and subtler, which I think this rook roll is going to be. She's going to love it. She's going to, she can't wait to read the script. Michelle Rodriguez, she's our third rook. Our fourth rook is going to be Michael B. Jordan, mainly for that bod, uh, the Creed bod. We need some actual, just some beef in this movie. Um, also liked his stuff as Killmonger and Black Panther, but again, also just, we need to, we need to sell some tickets. He's a beautiful man. Get him in there. And now we come to our queens, and again, queens kind of an amalgam of all of the pieces we've covered off today. They've got that action and that dynamism of the knights. They've got that war general, powerful, you know, rook-like activity, as well as the subtler, more political uh, bishop kind of whispering ear. Um, so for our first queen, I'm going to go with Tilda Swinton. Unbelievably intense actor. Anything she's in, very hard to look away from specifically was thinking of her work as the white witch in the narnia books or the narnia movies and also if you've seen the dead don't die just a class movie check that out but her role in it she's one of the best parts in that movie and that again just warrior like intensity uh tilda swinton that's our first queen and our second queen is a bit of a curveball maybe not as experienced or much of a household name in the kind of hollywood spheres but shore dashlu is just very very good in that kind of regal poised but still action-packed role i'm thinking specifically of her role in the expanse if you've seen that show she just pulls off these crazy looks as well which i think again visually costume we're going to sort that out um as one of our queens also that iconic voice that we need in there as well now for the kings i've actually sort of cast these as a little bit sly a little bit kind of looking after number one they're not really helping out they're very machiavellian okay they are means to an end sort of fellas so i want lads that can maybe pull off that sort of powerful but protective cold sort of look uh first one that came to mind ray fines ray fines often cast as the bad guy because he does it so well and i think he would actually bring a lot of that to the role of moving pieces around at his will to protect himself right fine perfect for that and another one this is also kind of another cast of this lad needs to be in the movie for me and i think he would do a great job this is sterling k brown he is just again a very magnetic actor definitely has uh unbelievable chops as an actor but i think he actually does have that little dark side to some of his roles Weirdly enough, I'm actually thinking specifically of his cameo in Brooklyn Nine-Nine where he plays a dentist. If you've seen that episode, you know the intensity he brings to that role and just the, the, the meanness as well as that poise and that coldness. Sterling K. Brown. An alternative for our king was going to be James Hong. Just again, a very good sort of patriarch figure. Can definitely control a lot of the pieces around him. The dude's 94. These movies are going to take a long time. There's going to be a lot of trouble behind the scenes. This production is going to be troubled from the start. So I don't want to do that to James Hong. I'll let him rest. But 10 years ago, 20 years ago, he's in there as a king for sure. And our director, this one has to go to Denis Villeneuve. He is the director of the Dune movies. He's the director of Arrival, uh, the new Blade Runner 49 one. He just knows how to do these like sprawling scale, massive sized battles massive size sets and scenes and i think that's kind of the vibe i like those are just kind of my favorite movies so that's why i'm making chess a three-part sci-fi trilogy first part gambit beautiful establishes the characters second part sacrifice that's when shit really kicks off people start to die the war starts to rage on and then the third one it's got to be checkmate that's where we wrap it all up so if you want to see these movies get made Let's all raise $700 million for this unbelievably stacked cast and they'll have to listen to us. We're up to nearly 650 subscribers now, so that's just over a million each. Let's, let's dig deep here. Thanks very much for watching. Do let me know if I've gotten any of these way wrong. I would love to hear your casting what ifs or anyone else you think you could get involved in this i actually thought long and hard about these picks so would love to hear where you think i've gotten completely wrong and where you think actually they would do a great job thanks very much stick around if you want to and subscribe but otherwise thanks for joining me